I have heard minister who was with me, Anurag, uh, Anurag ji was with me and the revenue secretary and the entire team was there. So discussions went on on the issue of the borrowing, the extension of the cess and so on. Uh, states had voiced their opinions and fairly today continued to voice. But even with that said, I would say some specific clarifications were asked and they were given also. Many of the clarifications which were asked were on the AG's opinion as regards the borrowing, as regards the council's uh, uh, authority to extend the collection of the cess beyond five years. All that was explained as it was uh, discussed and uh, questions were asked. In fact, I am very grateful that the council started today with each of the ministers who spoke recalling my morning's announcements and saying that it was nice of the centre to have given a 50 year interest free loans. All of them thanked us. Each, each one before starting their speech did say that. Also, they were happy about the additional uh, fund allocation for capital expenditure. Many of them also appreciated the demand stimulus that we have given through the LTC and also the festival advance. I requested an appeal to the states to say if they ran a similar program of LTC, even they should extend that scheme and provide festival advance so that collectively India's revival post the pandemic would uh, really be given a uh, shot in the arm. So uh, that was uh, also part of the uh, opening statement of many of the ministers. Uh, specific uh, clarifications, as I said, was about the extension of the cess beyond the five years. Compensation, how come it would be one amount and why can't it be the full amount? Even that was a bit of a discussion. The calculations varied. Where we had said very clearly it is about 235, 235. There were some calculations given by one or two ministers which said it is only 185. So if you are anyway going to borrow 110,000, why can't you uh, bring in the other 60, 70? Also uh, thinking that the total deficit is only 185 and so on. Uh, well, eventually it was a question of having heard everybody, not just in this meeting, but uh, also in the last two meetings. After all the clarifications were given, I explained very clearly that this GST council is a body which represents very high authority of the finance ministers of all the states. There has been very intense engagement, not just in this meeting, but also earlier. And as regards the shortfall in the compensation, after all, it is there for everyone to see that the collection of the cess is inadequate for paying the compensation. And that's ab absolutely apparent for everyone to see. And because it is something which was never envisaged. The shortfall is now going to have to be met by borrowing. Specific question of why the centre can't be borrowing it and then giving it to the state was answered both by the finance secretary and by myself. Centre has issued a borrowing calendar. If I go beyond that to borrow, it would immediately jack up the bond yields. The GSEC yields will go up. And if GSEC yields are the ones which are used as benchmark for every other borrowing in the country, the states going for borrowing on any other score, not just the compensation, 
would end up paying a very high price. The borrowing cost will go up. So will be the borrowing of even the private sector. If the GSEC rate is going to go up because I am gone beyond my borrowing calendar, it is going to affect everybody's borrowing. And at a time when India is looking for more money to invest, more money to borrow and do business, can we afford that? But it's not going to be that much severe. The impact is not going to be all that much as it would be when the centre borrows if the states were to borrow. And even from the first day's meeting, I have been very clearly saying that won't mean a chaotic every state rushing to the market. We shall arrange, we shall facilitate, we shall work it out in such a way that Tarun Bajaj has joined me today exclusively for answering those questions. We shall facilitate in such a way that states are not going to be ending up one state paying very high uh, uh, interest for the borrower and the other probably being smart enough went to the market and quickly obtained something at a reasonable rate. We will try to have something done in such a way that all states end up paying fairly equitable rate. That facilitation I have offered from the beginning. So clearly that was explained that as to why the centre can't borrow. A lot of discussion happened on 292, 293, centre borrowing under 292, states borrowing through the help of the centre under 293, all this was in detail discussed. Majority of the states, as you know, had opted for option 1. On the one hand, they were repeatedly asking for speedily get us the money. We are fighting Corona on the one hand, we also want the revival to happen very quickly. Festivals are coming, we need action in the ground, so help us to borrow as soon as possible. On the other, you had states which kept saying, no, let us decide on the basis of consensus. Let's decide on the basis of consensus because we have not opted for one and we are substantial numbers, so you have to have a consensus, decide how we are going to borrow. And the discussion went on for some time between the states. I was uh, obviously keenly hearing all the arguments. I could end of the meeting summarize that there was no consensus arrived on a matter on which differences exist. The, the GST Council can certainly take a call on CES, collection of CES, extending the period of collecting the CES and so on. That was repeatedly reiterated. But among the members themselves, there was this question of can the GST Council order that either the centre borrow or the states do this or that state do it because every state under 293 has a business to do what it wants about its own borrowing. And the GST Council has been gracious enough in unanimously agreeing to extend the cess beyond five years. So if beyond five years the cess is being collected to repay the principal and the interest of the entire compensation, not just this compensation or that compensation, but the entire compensation, there is just no dispute. There are differences as to how it has to be borrowed, who's got to be borrowing. But there's no dispute. 
every one of us agree that the entire compensation will have to be paid it will be paid every one of us agree that this compensation cannot be paid out of the state's other resources yes agreed everyone has agreed on that so there is no dispute and therefore that was reiterated by us at least i had to really appeal to all the members saying that there is no dispute we may have differences and if the number say 21 who have written are now saying we have made a choice allow us to do what we want with our money we want to borrow we will go so when i concluded i did say whilst i respect there is no unanimity equally can the council or members of the council stop another state from doing what it wants to do i i put this before the council if states want to on the back of having the confidence that the cess is going to pay the borrowing that they will have to undertake now for the shortfall in the compensation can anyone or the council stop a member from doing that can the council stop a member from wanting to borrow and say the cess will go for repaying that borrowing so on that point and also very clearly saying yes unfortunately we were not able to arrive at a consensus i appealed to every one of the members to say quickly we have to give answers to those people who want money in their hands because they are the ones all of you are, all each state are the ones who are fighting against covid in the ground so that was my winding up statement so that's how this gst council ended that for my opening statement and i'm sure if there's any question revenue secretary is here secretary ea is here we can answer your questions thank you very much ma'am 22 ma'am this is krishnan tripathi from etv bharat uh, i just wanted to know Uh, for first four months, it was 1.51 lakh crore rupees. Two more months, compensation has become due. Uh, so, what is the total amount that has become due? Second, can you also give us breakup for the 21 states, those who have opted for uh, option one? What will be the borrowing?